Merv Griffin, the famous entertainer, led a life full of secrets, drama, and a little bit of mystery. Behind the scenes, his life was just as exciting as the shows he produced. One intriguing connection is his relationship with the actress, Eva Gabor. Their story is filled with questions and speculation. Was their relationship a love story or a cover-up? The details of their relationship remain a mystery, leaving many to wonder and imagine what really happened. Eva Gabor, known for her work in film and television, was a prominent figure in Griffin's life. Together, they navigated the ups and downs of the entertainment industry, leaving behind a trail of whispers and gossip. Join us as we delve into the life of Merv Griffin and explore the mysterious link with Eva Gabor. Get ready to uncover the secrets and drama that shaped the life of this entertainment giant. Eva Gabor, the actress, was known for her work in old-time American films and television shows. Growing up, I was always fascinated by the world of entertainment and the stars who inhabited it. One such star who left a lasting impression on me was Eva Gabor. Rumors about her personal life were often just whispers, never confirmed or denied. The most persistent rumor surrounding the actress was about her sexuality. It was said that she was attracted to women, but this was never officially confirmed. Despite the rumors, Eva Gavor continued to be a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. She became a successful business owner and was known for her elegant style and charm. The news outlets of the time were hesitant to address the rumors about her sexuality. It was a different time and people were more closeted about their sexuality. The rumors remained just that, whispers and innuendos never fully confirmed or denied. It wasn't until recently that the rumors about Eva Gabor's sexuality were brought to light again. A biography about the actress was released, shedding light on her personal life and her relationships with women. Despite the controversy surrounding her sexuality, Eva Gabor's work in the entertainment industry remains timeless. Her performances in films and television shows continue to be celebrated by fans of classic Hollywood. The actress's legacy is a testament to her talent and her ability to captivate audiences. Her contributions to the entertainment industry will always be remembered, and her influence continues to be felt to this day. Eva Gabor's story is a reminder of a different time in Hollywood, a time when stars were more closeted about their personal lives. It's a reminder of how far we've come in terms of acceptance and understanding of different sexual orientations. In the end, what matters most is the impact that Eva Gabor had on the entertainment industry and the joy that she brought to audiences around the world. Her legacy will continue to live on through her work, and she will always be remembered as a classic Hollywood star. The glamorous life of the actress Eva Gabor was not without its share of rumors and legal controversies. Speculation and hearsay have long surrounded her career and personal life. One such incident involved two lawsuits brought against Griffin, where two men claimed that he owed them money after being in a relationship. The allegations stemmed from inappropriate actions, but ultimately, nothing came of the lawsuits. However, the damage was already done, as the accusations cast a shadow over Griffin's reputation and raised questions about his morality and sexual orientation. Despite the lack of evidence or concrete findings, the mere mention of his name in these lawsuits was enough to tarnish his image. The actress's involvement in these legal disputes was a source of intrigue and gossip, and it left many wondering about the truth behind the allegations. While the lawsuits did not result in any legal consequences for Griffin, they did create a perception of impropriety that was difficult to shake off. The actress's career and personal life were undoubtedly complex, and the rumors and lawsuits that surrounded her only added to the intrigue. Despite the controversies, the actress remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, and her contributions to film and television continue to be celebrated to this day. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her lively and entertaining presence in the media, had a secret life that was the talk of the town. Like many of her kind, she never denied unconventional acts or accepted any of the great vines about her. Perhaps she was waiting for the right time, or maybe social apprehension played a role. Behind the scenes, Eva Ga Bohr led a life that was vastly different from the public image she presented. She was a woman of mystery, and her private life was shrouded in secrecy. Despite the rumors and speculation, Gabor remained tight-lipped about her personal affairs. Throughout her career, Eva Gabor was a trailblazer in the world of film and television. She starred in numerous classic films and shows, cementing her place in Hollywood history. Her talent and charisma were undeniable, and she quickly became a household name. Despite her success, Eva Gabor was never one to shy away from controversy. She was known for her unconventional acts 
and her refusal to conform to societal norms. Some speculated that she was waiting for the right time to come out, while others believed that she was content to keep her private life private. Regardless of her motivations, Eva Gabor will always be remembered as a trailblazer and a pioneer in the world of entertainment. Her legacy lives on through her work, and she will always be cherished by her fans and admirers. In the end, Eva Gabor's private life will always remain a mystery. But one thing is certain, she was a woman of great talent and charisma, and she will always be remembered as a true Hollywood icon. When the news of Eva Gabor's passing broke, the world was not only focused on her wealth, but also on the rumors and stories that had circulated about her. Observers noted that Griffin, as she was known to her loved ones, did not take her secret to the grave. Despite her wealth and prestige, she was not bold enough to publicly acknowledge who she truly was. Eva Gabor, born on February 11, 1919, was a Hungarian-American actress who became a household name in the 1960s. She was known for her distinctive voice and her glamorous persona. Her career spanned over five decades, during which she appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. One of her most famous roles was on the hit TV show Green Acres, where she played the socialite wife of a farmer. The show, which aired from 1965 to 1971, was a classic example of her comedic timing and her ability to play a character with depth and nuance. Despite her success, Griffin remained private about her personal life. She was married five times and had no children. Her relationships were often the subject of gossip and speculation, but she never publicly addressed the rumors. When news of her passing broke, many were surprised to learn about her secret. Observers noted that she had not taken her secret to the grave, as there was now enough knowledge about it. Despite her wealth and prestige, she had not been bold enough to publicly acknowledge who she truly was. Griffin died of prostate cancer on July 4, 1995, at the age of 76. Her passing was a loss to the entertainment industry, and she left behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Eva Gabor's life and career were marked by her glamorous persona, her distinctive voice, and her comedic timing. However, her secret, which was revealed after her passing, showed a different side of her. Despite her wealth and prestige, she remained private about her personal life and did not publicly acknowledge who she truly was. Her legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Eva Gabor, the actress, was well known for her public image. She was often seen alongside Merv Griffin, a businessman, talk show host, game show creator, singer, and man-to-man -man lover. Despite Griffin's regular public appearances with Gabor, there were always whispers in Hollywood about his sexuality. Some believe that if Griffin had openly acknowledged his bisexuality during his lifetime, it could have made a significant positive difference in society. Griffin was frequently typecast in Hollywood as one of them, but he never publicly addressed these rumors. Despite this, he continued to maintain a high-profile relationship with Gabor, who was a well-known actress in her own right. Together, they made a captivating couple, often seen at glamorous events and parties. Their public appearances were a testament to their enduring friendship and partnership, even if it was never explicitly defined. Despite the rumors and speculation surrounding Griffin's sexuality, there is no denying the impact that he had on the entertainment industry. As a talk show host, he provided a platform for countless guests to share their stories and insights. As a game show creator, he developed shows that brought joy and entertainment to millions of viewers. And as a singer and man-to-man -man lover, he lived his life on his own terms, refusing to be defined by societal norms. Meanwhile, Gabor continued to dazzle audiences with her performances in film and television. Her classic roles and timeless beauty have made her a beloved figure in the world of entertainment, and her legacy continues to resonate with fans to this day. In the end, both Griffin and Gabor left their mark on the entertainment industry, each in their own unique way. Their contributions and impact transcended the boundaries of their respective fields, and their legacies continue to be celebrated and cherished by fans around the world. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her work in film and television, had a unique approach to discussing personal relationships. Before things got complicated, she often faced questions about her feelings towards others. However, she never took these inquiries too seriously. Instead, she would respond with a touch of humor. Merv Griffin, a well-known television host, once shared that Eva would answer queries about her feelings by saying, you're asking an 80-year-old man about his feelings, get a life. She would often joke, I'm a quarter sexual. I'll do anything with anybody for a quarter. 
This lightheartedness reflected her ability to maintain a positive outlook on life. Despite the humor, it was clear that Eva had a deep sense of self-awareness and a strong understanding of her own emotions. She knew how to navigate the complexities of personal relationships while keeping a balanced perspective. Her ability to joke about such matters demonstrated her resilience and her capacity to handle life's ups and downs with grace and humor. Throughout her career, Eva Gabor remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Her unique approach to discussing personal relationships only added to her charm and appeal. Her legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her work in film and television, had a private life that was not often discussed. Despite her friendly and outgoing demeanor, there was always a sense that she held something back. It was as if a little demon was constantly following her around, causing her distress. Born on February 11, 1919, in Budapest, Hungary, Eva was the youngest of three sisters who all went on to have successful careers in Hollywood. She began her acting career in the 1940s, eventually finding success on both the big and small screens. However, despite her success, Eva's personal life remained shrouded in mystery. She was married and divorced five times, and it was rumored that she had a tumultuous relationship with her third husband, John Williams. Eva's private struggles were never fully revealed to the public, and it wasn't until after her death on July 4, 1995, that the full extent of her pain became known. It was then that her sister, Zsa Gabor, confirmed that Eva had struggled with depression for many years. Despite her struggles, Eva remained a talented and accomplished actress, leaving behind a body of work that continues to be celebrated today. Her performances in films such as Gigi and The Respectables showcased her comedic timing and versatility, while her role as Lisa Douglas on the television show Green Acres endeared her to audiences around the world. In the end, Eva Gabor's private life will always be a source of intrigue and speculation, but one thing is certain her talent and contributions to the world of entertainment will never be forgotten. Eva Gabor, born in 1925 in Samo, California, was not only a talented actress, but also the middle child in a family of three. Her father was Merv Griffin Sr., and her mother was Rita Griffin. She had an older sister, Barbara, with whom she shared many childhood memories. One of their favorite pastimes was playing hangman during their travels. This game later became a significant inspiration for Eva's father when he invented the popular game show, Wheel of Fortune. Despite the family's love for games, Eva's passion for acting led her to pursue a successful career in the entertainment industry. Her journey began in her early years and continued to flourish as she became a well-known figure in Hollywood. As a child, Eva and her sister would often create imaginary characters and act out scenes together. These early experiences sparked her interest in the world of acting and set the stage for her future endeavors. Growing up in a loving and supportive family, Eva developed a strong sense of self and a determination to succeed in her chosen field. Her early life, filled with laughter, games, and creativity, provided the foundation for her successful acting career. Eva Gabor's musical talent was evident from a young age. As a child, she was known as a piano prodigy, receiving music tutelage from her aunt. Classical tunes were her first love, but as she grew older, she found herself drawn to pop songs, which she felt were more satisfying. Griffin began playing music at small gatherings and parties, earning a bit of money along the way. However, it wasn't until she joined her local church's choir as a teenager that she truly found her calling. Singing at their Catholic parish became a way for her to be a part of the music, and she quickly became a beloved member of the choir. Despite her love for pop music, Griffin's training in classical music was evident in her powerful voice and technical skill. She brought a level of professionalism and dedication to the choir that was admired by all. Through her involvement in the choir, Griffin discovered a passion for sharing her love of music with others. She began volunteering at local schools, teaching music to children, and inspiring a new generation of musicians. Griffin's musical talent was just one aspect of her multifaceted personality, but it was a significant one. Her love of music brought her joy, comfort, and a sense of community, and she spent many happy hours sharing that love with others. Eva Gabor's early career was marked by her entrepreneurial spirit and love for local entertainment. Even as a young boy, Griffin, as she was known then, was a popular figure in her neighborhood. She was the go-to person for anything related to entertainment, often organizing shows and performances for the local community. 
Griffin's business acumen was also on display at a young age. She involved other kids in her entertainment ventures, helping them to earn some side income. This not only ensured that the local entertainment scene was thriving, but also provided an opportunity for the children in the neighborhood to learn valuable skills and earn some pocket money. It's said that Griffin's early experiences in the world of entertainment might have even inspired her to pursue a career in show business. Whatever the case, her love for entertainment and her natural talent for organizing shows and performances were evident from a young age. Years later, when Eva Gabor became a household name, people would look back on her early career with fondness. They would remember the young girl who brought joy and entertainment to her neighborhood and marvel at how she had managed to turn her passion into a successful career. And who knows, perhaps those early experiences in local entertainment had played a role in inspiring Griffin to become the accomplished actress and entertainer that she would later become. Eva Gabor, a name synonymous with glamour and talent, had a career that was anything but traditional. From a young age, she was full of dreams and had a strong desire to become an entertainer. Despite her financial services and Klein father's attempts to convince her otherwise, she left her university studies behind to pursue her passion. The actress began her career on the stage, performing in various plays and musicals. However, it was her move to the big screen that truly solidified her place in Hollywood. She starred in a number of films, including Gigi and The Respectables, where she showcased her comedic timing and singing abilities. Despite her success in film, it was television that would truly make Eva Gabor a household name. She starred in the classic sitcom Green Acres, where she played the socialite wife of a farmer. The show was a hit and ran for six seasons, making Eva Gabor a beloved figure in American pop culture. However, even with all her success, the actress never forgot her roots. She continued to perform on stage throughout her career and even released a few albums. She was known for her love of fashion and was often seen on the red carpet, turning heads with her style and grace. In the end, Eva Gabor's career choices were a testament to her passion and determination. She left behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring entertainers to this day. Her contributions to the world of film and television will always be cherished, and her classic performances will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Eva Gabor's first job was at a bank, a far cry from the glamorous world of acting she would later become known for. It was a mundane and perhaps even a boring job, but it provided her with a valuable lesson. On the day she quit, she discovered the difficult circumstances that some of her longtime colleagues were facing. This revelation was a turning point for her, and she decided to leave the bank that very same day. The actress's decision to quit her job was not made lightly. She had seen the struggles of her colleagues and felt that she could no longer be a part of the institution. Her resignation was a stand against the unfair treatment of her colleagues, and it showed her strong sense of justice. This experience at the bank was a formative one for Eva Gabor. It taught her the value of standing up for what is right, even if it means making a difficult decision. This lesson would stay with her throughout her career and would help her navigate the ups and downs of the entertainment industry. In the end, Eva Gabor's decision to leave her first job was a brave one. It showed her strength of character and her commitment to fairness and justice. Although she may have been unsure of what the future held, she knew that she had made the right decision for herself and for her colleagues. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her work in film and television, received a wonderful opportunity in her career. Trusting in his instincts, it didn't take long before Griffin, presumably a colleague or associate, secured a juicy opportunity for her. She was asked to play a piano concert at the KRFC radio station in San Francisco. This opportunity came about because of her exceptional performance on the San Francisco Sketchbook Show. Her skills and charm were so impressive that the show was soon renamed The Merv Griffin Show, highlighting her significant contribution to its success. This turn of events marked a notable milestone in Eva Gabor's career, demonstrating her talent and the positive impact she had on the entertainment industry. Eva Gabor, a well-known actress, found herself in the limelight during her early years in the industry. At the time, she recorded a hit song called I've Got a Lovely Bunch of Coconuts, which only added to her growing popularity. This early fame made her think about the future and how to invest in the industry. Not long after, the Merv Griffin show was on NBC's daytime lineup, and the actress was a part of it. Despite its popularity, the show was canceled less than a year after its debut. 
However, this setback did not deter the actress from continuing her successful career in the industry. Eva Gabor's early fame set the stage for her to become a household name, and her impact on the industry is still felt today. Her success in the early years of her career allowed her to explore new opportunities and solidify her place as a classic Hollywood actress. The film and television industry were forever changed by her contributions, and she will always be remembered for her timeless talent. Eva Gabor, the actress famous for her role in the classic sitcom Green Acres, was already a well-known figure in the entertainment industry before her foray into television. However, it was this show that truly catapulted her to superstardom. Griffin, the production firm behind Green Acres, saw the potential in the actress and her co-star, Eddie Albert. The show was a hit, and it wasn't long before Griffin decided to set up a production firm of its own. This move proved to be a smart one, as the firm went on to produce several successful shows. But for Eva Gabor, Green Acres was just the tip of the iceberg. After the show's success, she went on to star in several other productions, further cementing her status as a Hollywood icon. Behind the scenes, the actress was just as savvy as her character on Green Acres. She was a sharp businesswoman, always looking for new opportunities to expand her brand. It was this entrepreneurial spirit that led her to create her own question and answer show, which would eventually make her even more famous. Despite her success, Eva Gabor remained humble and down to earth. She was known for her kindness and generosity and was always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. Today, the actress's legacy lives on. Her work continues to inspire new generations of performers and her contributions to the entertainment industry will never be forgotten. Eva Gabor, a talented actress, found herself deeply invested in the Jeopardy show for 11 years. This classic game show consumed her mental and productive time, but it was time well spent. Its success was undeniable, and it paved the way for her to create another show that would leave an equally indelible mark. This new show, titled Wheels of Fortune, was just as successful as Jeopardy. Almost everyone had their eyes and ears on the Merv Griffin shows, and it was hard to ignore the impact they had on the entertainment industry. The business ideas that stemmed from these shows were innovative and groundbreaking, further solidifying Griffin's status as a visionary. The success of these shows was not a fluke. Griffin's ability to captivate audiences and keep them engaged was a testament to his skill as a producer and creator. His shows resonated with people in a way that few others could, and they left a lasting impact on the world of television. Despite the success of these shows, Griffin remained humble and focused on his work. He continued to innovate and push the boundaries of what was possible in the world of television. And while he may have stepped away from Jeopardy and Wheels of Fortune, his impact on the industry was undeniable. In the end, Griffin's contributions to the world of television will be remembered for years to come. His shows will continue to be cherished by audiences, and his legacy will live on through the countless other producers and creators who were inspired by his work. Before acquiring fame and wealth through his production company, Merv Griffin, the man behind the successful game show Jeopardy, had initially set his sights on owning radio stations and delving into media companies. One of his notable ventures was purchasing Teleview Racing Patrol, which he transformed into a lucrative business for broadcasting horse races on television and facilitating betting. This innovative approach proved to be quite successful. Griffin's aspirations extended beyond just broadcasting races. He aimed to create special places where people could bet on these races, further expanding his media and betting empire. His strategic moves and innovative ideas eventually led to the acquisition of his production company, Empire Merv Griffin Enterprises, by Coca-Cola for a staggering $250 million in 1986. The actress Eva Gabor, known for her role in the popular television show Green Acres, was a contemporary of Merv Griffin during the height of their careers. While both were active in the entertainment industry, their paths never crossed professionally. Nevertheless, their individual successes contributed to the vibrant landscape of American media during that era. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her work in film and television, had a connection to the world of casinos and hotels. She was married to hotelier and real estate developer, Conrad Hilton's son, Mickey Hilton. However, it was her third husband, Richard Neville Dick Sarno, who had a significant impact in this industry. Sarno, a self-made millionaire, was involved in the casino and hotel business. He took over properties previously owned by Donald Trump, such as Resorts International in Atlantic City and the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino. These ventures made him super rich, further solidifying his status in the industry. 
Despite his success, Sarno's personal life remained a mystery to many. His secretive nature added an air of intrigue around him, making people wonder about his life beyond the casinos and hotels. In conclusion, while Eva Gabor's direct involvement in casinos and hotels may have been limited, her life was intertwined with the industry through her husband's, particularly through her third husband's successful endeavors. Eva Gabor, the actress, was known for her glamorous image and numerous Hollywood affairs. Her romantic life was the subject of much speculation, with reports of liaisons with various notable figures in the industry. One of her earliest reported relationships was with Judy Garland, who is said to have seduced the young Gabor and taken her virginity. Despite this encounter, Gabor's meandering romantic life continued, and she became known for her involvement with a number of high-profile men in the entertainment industry. Her affairs were often shocking, particularly given the closeted nature of many Hollywood relationships at the time. It seems that Gabor was not satisfied with conventional relationships and sought out more exciting and unconventional connections. Her romantic exploits were a topic of much discussion and fascination among her fans and contemporaries. Despite the many rumors and reports surrounding her love life, Gabor remained a private and enigmatic figure. She never publicly confirmed or denied any of the stories about her relationships, leaving her fans to speculate and wonder about her true romantic experiences. In the end, Gabor's Hollywood affairs will likely remain a mystery, adding to the allure and intrigue of this classic actress. Her legacy as a glamorous and captivating figure in Hollywood history is secure, and her romantic exploits will continue to be a topic of interest and fascination for generations to come. Eva Gabor's earliest adventure in the world of dating unconventional men began with Errol Flynn. It is said that she first caught a glimpse of his unclothed body while he was sleeping on a couch. This encounter sparked a relationship that would be remembered as one of her earliest adventures. The actress was also known to have lived with Montgomery Clift for over a year. Their relationship was one of the most significant in Eva Gabor's life, and it lasted for a considerable amount of time. In addition to her relationships with Flynn and Clift, the film star was also linked to Rod McDowell. Critics have noted that Griffin had a penchant for keeping a virtual male harem and a pimp who brought notorious men to him for financial reward. Eva Gabor's relationships with these men were a testament to her adventurous spirit and her willingness to push boundaries. Her story is a fascinating glimpse into the lives of classic Hollywood stars and the unconventional relationships that were a part of their world. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her role in the popular show Green Acres, had her own set of Hollywood connections. One such connection was with the famous Rock Hudson. It is said that Hudson and Gabor met through Henry Wilson, who was Hudson's agent at the time. Apparently Hudson and Gabor hit it off. But the actress was advised to keep her relationship with the heartthrob on the down low. In those times, keeping one's sexuality private was crucial to maintain a successful career in Hollywood. Gabor, being a smart and savvy woman, understood the risks involved and chose to keep her relationship with Hudson under wraps. It is unclear how serious their relationship was, but it is evident that Gabor and Hudson shared a special bond. The fact that Gabor was advised to keep their relationship a secret speaks volumes about the societal norms of the time. Despite the challenges, Gabor continued to make a name for herself in the industry. Her charm and wit made her a fan favorite, and she became a household name. Her legacy continues to live on, and her work is still cherished by many. In the end, Gabor's Hollywood connections and her ability to navigate the industry's challenges made her a true icon in the world of entertainment. Her story serves as a reminder of the struggles that many faced in the past and the progress that has been made since then. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her distinctive voice and glamorous image, was born on February 11, 1919, in Budapest, Hungary. She was the youngest of three sisters, all of whom became actresses. Gabor's early years were marked by her desire to become a successful actress, and she eventually made her way to the United States to pursue her dreams. Gabor's career spanned several decades, and she became known for her work in both film and television. She appeared in a number of classic films, including Giggy and The Respectful Prostitute, for which she won a Golden Globe Award. In addition to her film work, Gabor was also a regular on several popular television shows, including Green Acres and The Love Boat. Despite her success, Gabor's personal life was often the subject of tabloid headlines. She was married five times, and her relationships were often tumultuous. In addition to her marriages, Gabor was also known for her love of luxury 
and her high-profile friendships with celebrities such as Zsa Zsa Gabor and Elvis Presley. One interesting rumor surrounding Gabor was that she had made a little cash from a young and rebellious James Dean in exchange for sex. While this rumor has never been confirmed, it is a testament to Gabor's reputation as a glamorous and desirable woman. Another name connected to Gabor was Tom Drake, who was said to be somewhat connected to Judy Garland. Together, these four individuals, Gabor, Dean Drake, and Garland, were all part of a fascinating and intriguing world of classic Hollywood. In addition to her work in film and television, Gabor was also known for her distinctive voice and her work as a spokesperson for several brands. She was the voice of Duchess in Disney's The Aristocats, and she also appeared in commercials for brands such as Legs Pantyhose and Pamela Dish Soap. Ga Bor passed away on July 4, 1995, but her legacy continues to live on. She remains a beloved figure in the world of classic Hollywood, and her work continues to be celebrated by fans around the world. Whether on the big screen, the small screen, or in the world of advertising, Eva Gabor left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Eva Gabor, the actress, was known for her romantic connections with several famous figures. Among them were Robert Walker, Peter Lawford, and Glenn Ford, also known as Golden Scott. However, it was her long-lasting connection with Marlon Brando that really stood out. Despite her fame and wealth, Griffin, as she was often called, was known for keeping her feelings hidden and staying quiet about her personal life. Some speculate that she may have kept her relationships private to avoid unwanted attention or scrutiny. Robert Walker, known for his role in Strangers on a Train, was one of Griffin's romantic interests. Peter Lawford, a member of the famous Rat Pack, was also on her list. Glenn Ford, who went by the nickname Golden Scott, was another actor who caught her eye. But it was her connection with Marlon Brando that really made headlines. The two were often seen together, but Griffin never publicly acknowledged their relationship. Despite this, their connection was palpable and lasted for many years. Griffin's ability to keep her personal life private, even in the midst of fame and fortune, is a testament to her strength and independence. She proved that it was possible to maintain a successful career while also keeping certain aspects of her life private. In the end, Griffin's romantic connections were just one part of her fascinating life. She will always be remembered for her talent, her beauty, and her ability to keep her personal life private in the midst of fame and fortune. Eva Gabor, the actress, was known for her power and silence in the world of LGBTQ people. She seemed like someone important, yet she didn't speak out about it. Despite this, she held a position of influence and had control over big media channels. The actress lived a peculiar lifestyle, one that was unique and not commonly seen. Behind the scenes, Eva Gabor was a force to be reckoned with. She had the ability to command attention and respect, even without saying a word. Her power was evident in her ability to connect with people and influence them. She was well-connected and had the ear of important figures, including the president. Despite her power, Eva Gabor remained silent about her sexuality. This silence spoke volumes and added to her mystique. It was as if she was saying, I don't need to shout about who I am. My actions speak for themselves. Eva Gabor's lifestyle was just as unique as her personality. She lived life on her own terms and didn't conform to societal norms. Her lifestyle was a reflection of her independent spirit and her desire to live life to the fullest. In conclusion, Eva Gabor was a powerful and silent figure in the world of LGBTQ people. She had control over big media channels and lived a peculiar lifestyle. Despite her silence, she was a force to be reckoned with and had a profound impact on those around her. The relationship between a certain individual and actress Eva Gabor has been a topic of interest. This person, known for being tight-lipped about their personal life, was often silent when it came to confirming or denying their involvement with the actress. Some speculate that this secrecy was due to a desire to protect their own image, as they were known to carefully curate their public persona. Despite their reticence, there were those who believed that the individual did, in fact, have a romantic relationship with Eva Gabor. However, the details of their time together were never made public leaving many to wonder about the true nature of their connection. One thing that is known about this individual is that they were not afraid to challenge societal norms. At a time when homosexuality was still stigmatized, they chose to hire gay men to work for them. Some have suggested that this was a strategic move, as these individuals were often talented and creative, and their hiring practices may have helped the individual's businesses to thrive. However, 
Others have speculated that there may have been a more personal motivation behind the individual's decision to hire gay men. Perhaps they saw themselves as an ally to the LGBTQ community, or maybe they simply believed in giving everyone a fair chance, regardless of their sexual orientation. Whatever the reason, the individual's decision to hire gay men was seen as a kind and progressive gesture. It was a small step towards greater acceptance and understanding, and it showed that the individual was not afraid to take a stand for what they believed in. In the end, the true nature of the individual's relationship with Eva Gabor may never be fully known. But their decision to hire gay men and to challenge societal norms in the process is a testament to their character and their commitment to creating a more inclusive world. Eva Gabor, the actress, was part of a group known as America's Powerful Closeted Men. In the early 1990s, her sycophantic queer life was disturbed when Denny Tirio, one of those who dared to question her authority, instituted a lawsuit. This was a time when Griffin, another member of this exclusive club, was also exploring fresh outlets for satisfaction. Despite the controversy, Eva Gabor continued to shine in her career. She was a regular on the small screen, gracing popular shows of that era. Her charm and wit were infectious, making her a fan favorite. The actress was known for her impeccable style and grace, which added to her appeal. However, the lawsuit brought by Tyrio was a stark reminder of the challenges faced by those in the limelight. It was a time when America's powerful closeted men were forced to reconsider their positions and actions. Despite the hurdles, Eva Gabor remained resilient, continuing to captivate audiences with her performances. This classic actress's career serves as a testament to her talent and determination. Despite the controversies and challenges, she managed to carve a niche for herself in the entertainment industry. Her contributions are still cherished by fans and industry peers alike. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her work in film and television, found herself at the center of a legal dispute during her career. Danny Taro, the host of the popular show Dance Fever, and Griffin's ex-assistant Brent filed lawsuits against her. The claim was for a substantial sum of $200 million in Palamon. At the time, Griffin's strong influence was well known, and it was alleged that this influence played a role in the lawsuits. However, the judges ultimately threw out the cases. This decision helped to improve Griffin's reputation in the eyes of the public, but the same could not be said for Hollywood. Many people in the industry quietly knew about Griffin's behavior and were not as quick to forgive. Despite the legal issues, Eva Gabor's career continued to thrive. She remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, known for her work in film, television, and on the stage. The lawsuits, while a significant event in her career, did not define her or her contributions to the world of entertainment. In the end, the actress's legacy was not tarnished by the legal disputes. Instead, she was remembered for her talent, her charm, and the classic roles she brought to life on screen. The lawsuits were a footnote in a long and successful career, and one that left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her work in film and television, may have treated some people unfairly during her career. It's been suggested that some men who were once close to her felt helpless and abandoned by her at some point. Additionally, there were allegations that she began to treat homosexual men unfairly. She started firing them from her company because they were openly living as homosexuals. This could have been a problem for her as it might have put pressure on her and others like her to be more open about their feelings. It's important to note that this behavior is not acceptable and goes against the values of equality and respect for all individuals. Regardless of someone's sexual orientation, everyone deserves to be treated fairly and with dignity. Transitioning to the subject of Eva Gabor, her friendship with Griffin was both real and imagined. The two were often seen together, forming a genuine bond. However, their relationship was not romantic, as they were simply close friends. In the late 1980s, the actress and Griffin starred in the movie Return of Green Acres. During this time, Griffin expressed his love for Eva, despite both of them dating other people. The Hungarian-American actress found a special connection with Griffin, and their friendship became noteworthy. Eva and Griffin shared a unique bond, often spending time together like a regular five and six. Their camaraderie was genuine, and they maintained their friendship until Eva's death. The actress's charm and wit captivated Griffin, and their on-screen chemistry translated into a real-life friendship. The two shared a mutual respect and admiration for each other, which was evident to those around them. In summary, Eva Gabor's relationship with Griffin was a true testament to their mutual respect and admiration for each other. Although their friendship was not romantic, 
It was a special bond that lasted until the actress's passing. Eva Gabor and her close friend, Merv Griffin, were well known for their love of travel. They often embarked on fun trips together, exploring different parts of the world. These journeys created many cherished memories for the pair. Rumors once swirled that their friendship might evolve into something more romantic. It was said that Griffin and Gabor were considering tying the knot. In fact, Nancy Reagan was reportedly chosen to be the matron of honor for their wedding. However, these plans never came to fruition. Despite the speculation that the two remain close friends, their bond was a testament to the enduring power of friendship. Even today, people still remember and talk about the close relationship between Eva Gabor and Merv Griffin. Their story is a reminder that sometimes the most meaningful relationships are the ones that are not defined by romantic love, but by deep friendship and mutual respect. Through their travels and shared experiences, Griffin and Gabor created a bond that resonated with many. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her romantic lifestyle, was no stranger to marriage. In fact, she walked down the aisle four different times throughout her life. However, she eventually came to the conclusion that marriage wasn't for her. Despite this, she approached the idea of marriage with a sense of curiosity and experimentation. One of the most intense relationship rumors Eva faced was her connection to actor Richard Brown. The two were linked for about 17 years, and even Eva's sister, Zeza Zagabor, weighed in on their potential nuptials. Zeza mentioned that the pair might tie the knot after their vacation in the Bahamas. Eva and Zeza were both famous for their romantic escapades, and their marriages were often seen as exciting and glamorous. However, Eva's approach to marriage was always a bit more measured. She saw it as an experiment, something to try, and then reassess. Despite the allure of marriage, Eva ultimately decided that it wasn't the right fit for her. She approached the idea with an open mind, but ultimately found that she was better off on her own. Even so, her romantic legacy lives on, and she will always be remembered for her glamorous lifestyle and her many marriages. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her role in the classic show Green Acres, formed a close friendship with Griffin. It's quite interesting to note that they were considering marriage, but unfortunately, they couldn't see it through due to disagreements about where they should live and other unresolved issues. Before these events unfolded, Griffin shared that Eva had become quite ill. Her health deteriorated due to breathing problems, which ultimately led to her passing. It's unfortunate that their potential marriage and her life were cut short due to her illness. Despite this, their friendship remains a notable aspect of Eva Gabor's life and career. Before delving into her business ventures, Eva Gabor was known for her successful acting career. However, her entrepreneurial spirit led her to establish Eva Gabor International, a company that gained recognition for its wig collection. Eva Gabor International became a significant player in the wig industry, providing high-quality products to a wide range of customers. The actress's keen eye for fashion and style translated well into this new venture, making her company a trusted name in the market. Interestingly, Eva Gabor's close friendship with television host Merv Griffin has been a topic of discussion over the years. Some speculate that their relationship might have been more than just a friendship, given Griffin's notoriously private personal life. Griffin, who was known for his work on The Merv Griffin Show, was often seen with Eva Gabor at various events and gatherings. Despite the constant scrutiny from nosy reporters, Griffin managed to dodge questions about his sexuality and kept his private life under wraps. It is worth noting that Griffin's close friendship with Eva Gabor might have been a way for him to keep his personal life separate from his public persona. By surrounding himself with trusted friends like Eva Gabor, Griffin was able to maintain his privacy and avoid unwanted attention. In hindsight, it seems that Griffin's friendship with Eva Gabor was a crucial aspect of his life allowing him to navigate the complex world of show business while keeping his personal life a secret. Today, their friendship remains a fascinating topic of discussion among fans and scholars alike. Eva Gabor, the actress, was married to Richard Brown, also known as Merv Griffin. The couple was together for a significant portion of Griffin's career, lasting close to 17 years. Their union was also blessed with a son, Anthony. However, like many Hollywood marriages, this one also ended in divorce in 1976. Despite the split, the couple had a productive working relationship. They were even reported to have brainstormed together before Griffin's hit question and answer show came on board. Their partnership, both personal and professional, was a testament to their shared passion for entertainment and media. 
Despite the challenges that came with their high-profile careers, they managed to maintain a strong bond and create a family together. Through their work and personal life, Eva Gabor and Mer Griffin left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Their story is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, creativity, and collaboration can lead to great success. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her role in the popular show Green Acres, had a diverse social circle that included notable figures such as Nancy Reagan, the former First Lady of the United States. The two were reportedly on such good terms that Eva might have even introduced Nancy to astrologer Joan Quigley. Despite her connections to influential women, Eva's personal beliefs and biases often influenced her actions. She was known to have a secret and, at times, homophobic attitude. This led her to punish those within her circle who she should have protected, particularly the queer community. Despite her negative tendencies, Eva was also known to uplift those she deemed worthy. She would often manufacture lies and parade them as bodyguards to protect those she held in high esteem. In the end, Eva Gabor's social circle was a mix of both positive and negative influences. While she had close relationships with notable figures like Nancy Reagan, her personal biases often got in the way of fully supporting and protecting those in her inner circle. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her work on television and in film, was once the subject of an unusual fan encounter. The Merv Griffin Show, which Griffin hosted, had gained a large and devoted following. Fans of the show were particularly enamored with Griffin's voice, and many were eager to meet him in person. One day, a young girl who was a big fan of the show found her way into Griffin's studio. She had heard about the show and its host, but she didn't know what Griffin looked like. When she finally came face to face with him, she was surprised by his appearance. You're Merv Griffin, she asked, unable to hide her disappointment. She had been expecting someone different, and Griffin's bulky frame didn't match the image she had in her mind. Without waiting for a response, the young girl turned and hurried out of the studio, leaving Griffin standing there, bemused. It was a strange and unexpected encounter, but it was just one of many that Griffin experienced during his time as a popular television host. Despite the occasional disappointment, Griffin's fans continued to love and support him, and his show remained a beloved fixture in the world of television. The actress, Eva Gabor, who was also a part of this world, continued to captivate audiences with her talent and charm. Eva Gabor, the actress, was known for her glamorous image and elegant style. However, there was a time when she underwent a significant change in her appearance. Reports suggest that she started losing weight, which was quite noticeable. The reason behind her weight loss was an encounter with someone who was described as an all-knowing fellow and one of the most astute businessmen. This encounter had a profound impact on Eva Gabor. She was so impressed by this individual's wisdom and acumen that she was inspired to make a change in her own life. The change began with her physical appearance and she started to lose weight. It is not clear how this affected her personally or professionally, but it was a noticeable transformation. The weight loss was just one aspect of the change that Eva Gabor underwent. The encounter with the astute businessman had a deeper impact on her, and she began to approach her career and personal life with a new perspective. She became more focused and determined, and her career continued to flourish. Despite the changes in her appearance and demeanor, Eva Gabor remained true to herself and her values. She continued to be a glamorous and stylish actress, but she also became known for her intelligence and business savvy. Her weight loss was just one aspect of her transformation, but it was a visible sign of the changes that were taking place within her. In the end, Eva Gabor's weight loss was a reflection of her inner strength and determination. She was inspired by someone she admired, and she made a change in her life as a result. lieutenant. Her weight loss was a testament to her ability to adapt and evolve. And it was just one of the many ways that she left her mark on the world of film and television. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her distinctive voice and glamorous style, gained fame in the 1960s for her role in the popular television show Green Acres. Born on February 11, 1919, in Budapest, Hungary, she was the youngest of three sisters, all of whom became actresses. After moving to the United States, Eva's career took off in the 1950s with appearances in films such as My Man Godfrey, and artists and models. However, it was her role as the socialite wife of a country lawyer in Green Acres that endeared her to audiences and made her a household name. The show, which aired from 1965 to 1971, was a remake and then readapted type of The Jeopardy Show, and it remains popular to this day. 
Many fans were thrilled when, in 2001, TV Guide ranked the show second place in its list of the 50 greatest game shows of all time. Eva's co-star, Eddie Albert, once said of her, she was a professional and a delightful person to work with. She had a great sense of humor and was always ready to try something new. Even after Green Acres ended, Eva continued to act in films and television shows, including The Love Boat and Fantasy Island. She also lent her voice to animated series such as The Rescuers Down Under and Captain Planet and The Planeteers. Eva Gabor passed away on July 4, 1995, but her legacy lives on. Her work in Green Acres and other shows has left a lasting impact on the world of television, and her fans continue to enjoy her performances to this day. In fact, The Wheel of Fortune, another classic game show, has since become the longest-running syndicated game show in the history of American television. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of these types of shows, and the talented actors who bring them to life. Eva Gabor, the actress, was born on February 11, 1919, in Budapest, Hungary. She was the youngest of three sisters, all of whom became actresses. Eva moved to the United States in the 1930s and began her acting career in the 1940s. Throughout her career, Eva Gabor appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. She was perhaps best known for her role as Lisa Douglas on the television show Green Acres, which aired from 1965 to 1971. The show was a comedy about a wealthy socialite who moves with her husband to a rural farm. Despite her success in the entertainment industry, Eva Gabor remained a private person when it came to her personal life. She was married five times and had no children. She was also known for her love of fashion and her distinctive accent, which she attributed to her Hungarian heritage. Eva Gabor passed away on July 4, 1995, at the age of 76. Her legacy continues to live on through her work in film and television, and she is remembered as a talented and versatile actress who brought joy to audiences around the world. Despite the actress's gregarious lifestyle, she managed to keep her personal life private, leading some to wonder how she was able to stay closeted during her career. It is a reminder that even in the entertainment industry, individuals can maintain their privacy and personal lives separate from their public perspective.